communication plays a big part in all our daily lives. Emails, text messages, phone calls, and the internet power modern life and help do everything from making dinner plans and catching up with friends to controlling financial systems and sharing sensitive information. Because we all rely so heavily on these electronic methods of communication, their security is incredibly important. Not only does the data itself need to be protected, but we need to be confident that the person sending and receiving the data is who they say they are. That's where crypto comes in. No, not cryptocurrency. Cryptography. This kind of crypto is all about communicating using secrets that only certain parties can access. It's the most common way of keeping data confidential, and it can be used to help verify the authenticity of the person you're communicating with. The cryptographic protocols that keep our data secure on the internet, for example, are based on the difficulty of certain math problems, ones that are effectively too hard for even supercomputers to crack. However, once powerful enough quantum computers come on the scene, they will pose a great threat to the security of today's data. That's because many of the cryptographic protocols we use now, including RSA and ECC, were not designed with quantum computers in mind and will be ineffective when powerful quantum computers are developed. And it's not just future data that's at risk. Current encrypted data could be captured and stored now to be decrypted later in what are called SMDL attacks. For these reasons, New cryptographic protocols are being designed that will be resistant to the new computational abilities of quantum computers. These new techniques are known as post-quantum cryptography, or PQC, and quantum key distribution, or QKD. PQC refers to new algorithms and harder math problems that can be used to secure our data because they are nearly impossible for both current and quantum computers to crack. But the laws of physics can be used to help secure the way we share information, too. Not just work to break cryptography. QKD is one example of this approach. This technique allows for the sharing of information via qubits, or quantum units of information, in such a way that we're guaranteed to know if an eavesdropper intercepts the key that is used to encrypt secret data. Fortunately, if we know that the key was intercepted, then we can fix the problem and send a new key before any sensitive data is sent. These are just a couple of ways that the laws of nature at the quantum level can have a massive impact on communication and the way the world protects its data.